Hi, everyone. This is Fred on Spirit Reflections, and this is part of our 81 episode exploration of the book Tao of Leadership by John Heider, a modern adaptation of the ancient Chinese text Tao De Jing, written by Lao Tzu over 500 years BC. And today we're going to read chapter 68 and followed by a short meditation. I'd love to hear from you. What do you think of these teachings? And if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe to Spirit Reflections. So here we go. Chapter 68 is entitled Opportunities. The greatest martial arts are the gentlest. They allow an attacker the opportunity to fall down. The greatest generals do not rush into every battle. They offer the enemy many opportunities to make self-defeating errors. The greatest administrators do not achieve production through constraints and limitations. They provide opportunities. Good leadership consists of motivating people to their highest levels by offering them opportunities, not obligations. That is how things happen naturally. Life is an opportunity and not an obligation. And this ties to something that I experienced when I had a psychedelic journey with psilocybin mushrooms. And in it, I was taken to a place where I was seeing a lot of people in tremendous suffering, carrying a lot of burdens and a lot of pain as if they were like heavy bags and loads. And they were dragging themselves in the mud and suffering. But as I was observing this, I was also seeing two kind of like angelic beings looking down at that scene and looking at me. And through telepathy, they were basically saying, it's all good. It's all okay. Uh, they're just gestating their own creations. They're going to learn how to co-create better in the next cycle. So they're seeing through the creation of their own creations, the gestations. So they give them life. And they witness the byproducts of it, the results of it. And then as it makes them feel good or bad, they'll learn next time around in each cycle to gestate better creations. And I look at the word opportunities in the title here as just that, an opportunity for us to create, use our mind freely to create new opportunities for learning, for growth, for work, for labor, for anything that we want to express in the world creatively. And as I understand from reading this book and studying, Tao, how things happen, the universe, allows us the opportunity to co-create as many times and in many ways we desire until we find the authentic expression of ourselves as unique individuals and see to it that those creations are healthy and make us happier, grow, and allow the universe around us, the people around us to grow as well through these uh, sharing of creations and gestations of creations. And so that's what I get from this. Love to hear from you what you think and I'll invite you now to do a short meditation. And I'm gonna put some music here in the background. And if you'd like to close your eyes, feel free. And just let's pay attention to our breathing. Take a couple of long and slow breaths in and out. Synchronize our breathing to a slower pace and give the opportunity for every cell of our body to vibrate in a calm and peaceful rhythm. As, as we inhale the air. We consciously bring life to every cell of our body. Bringing a renewed light 
bringing wisdom that will be unpacked, will be revealed in time. And in the exhales, just like a gentle breeze through the forest in the fall, autumn leaves in the ground, we expel, surrender, and release all that is no longer useful to us, all that with the purpose and is ready to be swept up by the wind. This way we make new room in us for new creations, new opportunities, new experimentations of living consciousness. we can continue to make intimate contact with how things happen. Being aware of that makes this opportunity for others. Releasing them from our expectations, of our desires. Whenever we feel overwhelmed, let's remember these moments with slow breaths. Where we give every cell of our body conscious renewal. couple more moments here and if you closed your eyes feel free to open them slowly and come back to our senses grounded in our bodies i wish you a great rest of your day